Hey there folks, Dr. Dave here again with another EV3 Mindstorms video tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to look at using variables in our code. Uh, using the variables allows us to alter the alter things like the power, um, distance we travel, number of rotations and so forth in movement and a variety of other things as well. So we're going to use our move tank block here but rather than fixing these two values for the power, what we're going to do is we introduce a variable which we're then going to use to feed in as input into these two power power values. So to do that we need to go into our data operations tab and drag in a variable block. First thing we need to do is actually create a new variable. We can either create new variables in the block itself or we can actually go into the project properties and add variables here. So we're going to add a variable which is, we'll give it name power and we'll set it as a numeric variable because it's going to take uh, different numeric values and click on OK. So then if we go back into our program, when we click on the uh, space up here we'll see that we've got a power variable available. So we're going to write a value to that and we'll write a value of 40 there. So two things we can do with variables we can either write to them or we can read from them. So the next thing we'll do is we'll bring another variable block up here and we'll change that to a write uh, operation so write numeric and then what we need to do is we need to attach this variable so that its value gets read in to these two so that means whatever the value of power is the power variable is is used in the power for the motors up here so for example if I change this to 30 the value that gets fed into here will be 30 instead of the 40. So by using variables it now allows us to change our code in one place without having to change it in various places down here. We'll see also we can use variables for getting user input which we've got a video tutorial on as well as when we're actually developing reusable my blocks but we'll look at that in a later tutorial. Uh, just to finish off We'll look at adding one more var variable here. So as well as the a variable for power, we want another one for number of rotations. So this is the second way we can add a new variable. So just go up to here, add variable. We're going to call that num rotations. Click on OK there. We want to travel five rotations. That's writing the value into the variable. So again, we need to read the value. So change that to num rotations, change that to read numeric and input that into this field here. So now when I run this particular bit of code it's going to drive the robot forward, power 30 and it will drive it 5 rotations. But as I said by having the variables now we can easily change the value in one place and it flows onto wherever it's used later. Okay, hopefully that's useful. See you next time.